Denise Scott Brown is an architect, planner, urban designer, theorist, writer, and educator whose projects and ideas have influenced designers and thinkers worldwide. In 1972, with husband and professional partner Robert Venturi and Steven Eisenhower, Scott Brown wrote Learning from Las Vegas, the Forgotten Symbolism of Architectural Form. The book has taught architects, urban planners, and generations of students to look at the everyday landscape, the ugly and the ordinary, as a springboard for an authentic building in contemporary times. The book coined the terms duck and decorated shed as applied to opposing architectural styles. When Robert Venturi was named as winner of the 1991 Pritzker Architecture, often described as Architecture's Nobel Prize, Scott Brown did not attend the award ceremony in protest, though her husband appealed to the Pritzker jury to co-award his wife. She once commented, no matter how my work was published or credited, it was seen as Venturi's. The notion that we might both design seemed inconceivable. So was the prospect that ideas could initiate and grow in a ping pong of creativity between several minds, even though architects have experienced this way of designing in their offices. In 1989, Scott Brown published the famous essay titled, Room at the Top? Sexism in the Star System in architecture. Although Scott Brown already wrote the essay in 1975, she decided not to publish it at that time out of fear for damaging her career. In this essay, she describes her struggle to be recognized as an equal partner of the firm in an architecture world that was predominantly male. She has since been an advocate for women in architecture and has spoken out about discrimination within the profession. In December 2015, Denise Scott Brown and Robert Venturi went on to receive the American Institute of Architects 2016 Gold Medal, that organization's highest honor and the first time a woman has received the award.